Hey everyone, it's American Football Reviews UK back with the latest review and it's on the Riddell Revo Speed helmet. It's got two optional extras on it which are the Oakley Visor and the Riddell Hard Chin Cup. So I'm going to try and make the video as short and sweet as I can and just get in the key facts in there and then you can guys can ask me any questions that you might have on the helmet. So it does start around £235 to get the helmet and I have a face mask on here which is the S2B and then SP, so standing for the two bar here, that is it. And then with the face cage itself, it is closer to the face than most, which makes fitting a visor quite difficult. But if you take the, the face cage off itself, then fit the visor, and then press against the lid, it should fit reasonably well with a bit of tightening at the top here. You should be fine. So ignore my team's decal here. Um, that obviously won't come on your helmet. So... I'll just give you a quick rundown of what the helmet looks like. So it does have this aggressive style. And it, as you can see here, the mohawk part, which helps make it look aggressive. So if we get the front view of it, you can just see the indentures here and what it looks like. And then obviously the air holes here to help for breathability. And then again here on the back. So then you can see here more of the cut in shape of the Revo Speed. And then again here at the back as well, where it bows in slightly to give it another aggressive look. So you do get the standard stickers here on the back saying, obviously, that it can't completely stop concussions, but it does help reduce you get concussions. And then the size of the helmet here, which I'm a medium. So do check your sizes online. So I bought this helmet from Football America UK around probably 14 to 16 months ago and i haven't had an issue with it at all i do think it's brilliant the only thing i would recommend getting is a hard chin cup rather than the soft cup which is provided with the helmet i think having the the hard chin cup just makes it look a lot better and it gives it more secure fit and you feel like it's completely locked together and that you're not going anywhere that's just my opinion and then having a visor on is each to their own but i felt like it looked good and then helps you know having no hands get into your eyes so you don't have to worry about anything like that and that's the main reason of that so all in all you're looking at around 260 for the revo speed now unfortunately there are a lot of options now with the speed flex recently just being released over here in the uk now there's an interesting helmet technology comparison guide that riddell have on their website which i'll just show you now So basically, as you can see here, it starts with the speed flex at the top and everything that kind of it, the technology wise in the helmet, then the 360 underneath it, and then underneath the 360 is the Revo Speed. So, in essence, the 360, the only thing different it has is the flex system, which I'll just try and zoom in for you. So, that's the only optional extra it has over the speed. And then again, it does have more quick release points. Than the Revo Speed here. So the Revo Speed only has two quick release points here and here. And then the 360 will have them up here and here. And it also does have another aggressive design. So it does have an overliner inside the Revo Speed. As you can see here, the dark and grey areas. These go over the inflatable bladders that are in the helmet to help protect. So that is removable and it is machine washable. So if you do sweat a lot, on the uh, the hot summer days and you want to give that a wash give it a clean get it fresh that's you know it's easily done so another video i will take the helmet apart if need be so as standard you get these foam filled jaw pads here and you can buy inflatable ones the inflatable points for this helmet are here if you have the inflatable ones mine don't so it's just a dummy here you have another inflatable point here at the back and then another inflatable here at the crown so that will inflate your helmet. So you do need a Riddell needle for that. So don't go using like a shut helmet needle or just a standard needle pump. That will probably pop the insides here and then it might not inflate your helmet. So it's best not to recommend that. So again, another look. So here's the hard chin cup. You may have just caught it when I showed you the overliner inside. I definitely recommend this. Can't recommend it enough. Everyone that has a speed, they'll have the soft chin cup for a while and then a lot of people will convert to this style or a different style chin cup not everyone but most people do a lot of people on my team have as well 
So that's just a quick rundown, really, of what the helmet offers and how I feel it benefits me. Now, the main selling points of this, obviously, are the looks, the optional extras you can get with it, and now the price has slightly dropped down because of the Speed Flex coming out as well. So it is definitely a good buy, and I feel with something that is so you know important as the brain is, you know, the most vital organ in the body. It's definitely worth spending that little bit extra and getting something that you feel will protect you on Saturdays and Sundays or whenever you're training and playing games. It's something you definitely want to just think about a little bit extra. And I can't stress enough, you know, try it on. You know, your teammates are going to have multiple items of helmets, you know, and this goes for any item you're looking to buy. Just try, try before you buy, you know, get a feel for it and see how they benefit you and how it feels on you. Especially with helmets, it's quite an expensive product to get. So definitely go out and try it on, try teammates, get your sizes right, get a feel for it. And the visibility, what I'll do, I'll put the helmet on now and so you can get a feel what it looks like on someone's head. And then you can go from there. So here it is on my head, as you can see here. So hopefully you're getting a, a feel for the aggressive design that this helmet offers. And then that you can see that the face cage is slightly closer to the face. Um, and it, for me, it benefits me. Um, if I get a close up here, so you can just get a feel for it, it is closer. So eye line as well. So some people would suggest that having the two bar here, that it can restrict eye visibility. Yes, you know you do notice it when you you know you kind of you mention it to yourself and you're sitting there looking at it. Um, you will notice it, but all in all, when I'm in a game and something like that, I don't notice it at all. And again with the two bar here, um, I think it looks more aggressive, and that's why I went with it. Um, and as you can see the hard chin cap here, if you strap this in, I won't do the other side because there's not much point, but it, it just feels like I'm completely strapped in, you know, and that I'm not, I'm not going anywhere, you know, and that's, that's the main thing you want from your lid. So again, just a quick look at the helmet. So again this is just a quick review and giving you the general gist of what a helmet looks like how i feel it is if it's one of the best better ones out there um what you know would i recommend it and you know i, I definitely i definitely would um that's that's the main thing um is kind of my general feedback from me using it over the last season and how i feel it benefited me I felt completely secure in it, and there were a lot of people on my team that have 360s, uh, speeds, and then shut helmets, and various helmets. So I have tried on most of them. Uh, the only one I haven't really tried on are Zenith helmets. Um, but I feel Riddell are up there. You know, it, to some degree, you pay for what you get. Um, and I do think it is a great quality helmet. Um, but again, it is general preference. So I went with the, the Re Revo Speed. Uh, you know, you're going to pay about 260 all in. And then if you start adding extras, of course, that will add up. But I believe that the helmet provides great, you know, the comfort is second to none. The breathability is great. And, it, you know, the looks are great. Uh, you can see it for yourself in the design. So all in all, you have to sum up the pros and cons of the helmet and make your decision from there. Um, you know, I can't make the decision for you. Um, but if you need any hints and tips or any advice on the helmet, do leave a comment. Or do go find me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. AF Reviews UK and hit me up there and I'll give you any help I can but until next time cheers guys